friends, good wishes from Countryside Travels. Welcome to our channel. It's 8.20 a.m. We are at Old Quarters, Hanoi, and this is our hotel. We will be staying here for two days. We are waiting for our cruise bus near our hotel. We are today heading to Halong Bay, and we have booked a day cruise. You have option of bookings one nights, two days cruise, or two nights, three days cruise. Choice is all yours. We read reviews about stay cruise and came across information that they are not comfortable and it's all smelly due to the kind of fuel the crews use. So we decided against overnight cruise and go ahead with a day cruise. Also, we wanted to come back to Hanoi as it is more happening and lively. There are many cruise planners or providers in Hanoi. It will be this kind of cruise that you see right there at a distance. Usually three to four places are covered during this cruise. Usually the cruise service starts early in the morning and they pick you from a place near your hotel and in the evening you are dropped back at the same point. Around at 9 p.m. you are dropped back. Hanoi is a lively city and even at 12 in the night you can see people moving around. Many people can be seen using two wheelers and bicycles in Hanoi. Let's see how the day progresses. This is our first halt in our journey to Halong Bay, and this is a pearl museum. Located near the stunning Halong Bay in Vietnam, this factory is a hidden gem for those interested in the intricate process of pearl farming. The pearl farming industry in Halong Bay has a long history, dating back to the early 1960s. At that time, local fishermen in this coastal area discovered natural pearls inside oysters, sparking the initial interest in researching and developing pearl farming. In 1965, the Vietnam Institute of Marine Products Research established the first pearl farming facility in Halong Bay. The pearl farming industry in Halong Bay has become a vital economic sector in Quang Ninh province. Halong Bay's Pearl Village is situated in the Halong Bay Marine Region, one of UNESCO's recognized World Heritage Sites. This area offers favorable natural conditions for pearl farming, with clean seawater, suitable salinity, and stable temperatures. Halong Bay pearls are highly regarded by experts for their high purity, thick nacre layers, and a variety of elegant and alluring natural colors such as gold, lily, cherry blossom, and mercury gray. After witnessing the captivating process of pearl cultivation, your journey continues as you explore the exhibition area and pearl museum at the Tung Sao Pearl Farm.
Here, you will discover a captivating display of various product models, enabling you to explore and appreciate the exquisite craftsmanship that goes into creating these pearls. Whether you're looking to purchase a unique souvenir or simply immerse yourself in the beauty of these precious gems, the exhibition area offers a glimpse into the artistry and challenges of the pearl production process. Ha Long Bay is a famous tourist destination for beach vacations in Vietnam. It is located on the west coast of the Tonkin Gulf in northeastern Vietnam. With thousands of magnificent islands, Ha Long Bay has been recognized by UNESCO as natural heritage of the world for many years. There are many criteria to consider when choosing the travel ways from Hanoi to Ha Long Bay. It includes budget, time, safety, concerns, etc. Similarly, a great number of means of transportation are available to satisfy you. Private motorbikes, cars, buses, trains, airplanes, and seaplanes are common options. I feel bus is the best means of transportation. It takes you about three to four hours. Bus routes start from the center of Hanoi. So we are in the waiting lounge and ticket for the cruise was given to us by our cruise operator. It cost us around 1,000 Indian rupee or 12 US dollars. So we are now ready to begin our cruise. There is market also here. People here tell us that tourists are not allowed to carry plastic items beyond this point so that the Bay Area is kept clean and green and people just do not litter around. But they are sitting over there. Can you give me just two seconds? Yeah, thank you. So that they don't litter around and they want to keep their harbors and the, uh, the bays clean so that's why it's like a no plastic policy they might if you even if you're carrying a water bottle they might just ask you to throw it away as in just keep it with them and not take into the cruise so yeah i got to move head closer <laughs> There's something so my car will behind. Our <laughs> car is luxury cruise, uh, ARC. So we'll be getting on it. Ha Long Bay covers about 1,500 square kilometers, 600 square miles, along the northeastern coast of Vietnam and holds more than 1,600 islands, the mountainous limestone islands, the tallest of which tower up to 400 meters, 1 to 300 feet, above the water are some of the world's most visible and famous examples of karst features. Karst landscapes form in humid environments with highly soluble and fractured carbonate or evaporate rocks, like limestone or gypsum. These landscapes have distinctive features such as sinking streams, sinkholes, caves, springs, and fluted rock outcrops. Most of the islands in Ha Long Bay, which was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, are uninhabited and unaffected by humans. 
Elsewhere, however, karst ecosystems are vulnerable to degradation from mining for cement and other human threats. Sung Sat Cave is the largest and most beautiful cave in Halong Bay. A long time ago, the geological formation of limestone in this beautiful bay took place approximately 500 million years. environment, weather, geology and geomorphology has brought the land a high biodiversity with a variety of stunning landscapes, including green forests, beautiful islands and majestic caves, especially undergoing over 20 million years of karst revolution. Many picturesque caves were formed in Halong Bay. Sungsat Cave is one of the special one. First step to Sungsat Cave. You may think that the cave is very small and dark. However, when you pass through a rocky slot and go inside, you will be surprised by the huge expansion. When French tourists first visited Sungsat Cave, they were so amazed by the majestic beauty and the huge expansion of the cave. Following that, the cave has been called as Sung Sat Cave. Okay, this is a sunset cave that we're heading to. These are the cruises. Now we are. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, up the we are standing in front of the cave, okay? Here, you can see the name over there. Hang Sung Sok over there. Here. So, as my co worker described for you, the cave was found out by the front in 1901. But until 1993, we opened the cave for tourism in 1993. So before that time, local people who used to live on the bay before, they came up to the cave a lot. They came to the cave for hiding themselves from big storm outside. And they took water from the first top of the wall or so. Yeah, when we arrived at the first chamber, everyone would see the big top of the wall. Yeah, local people. They used to take water from there a lot for their life on the boats, for washing or for uh, taking shower, not for drinking or for cooking. It's not good for their stomachs. So, you hear Hamada? Sunrise cave of almost, um, I think, 150 stairs cave uphill walk here. So you can see people are walking up there. This is the car's topography. All lines <laughs> So, I have a information for you. This is the sunset or sunrise cave. So, it's a prize cave. You can see it. It's a Sara limestone. Star of Tides character is Star of Tides. Star of Tides is Star of Tides. Star of Tides is Star of Tides. Star of Tides. Star of Tides. Star of Tides. 